Hey guys, welcome to another full Nova Zero first play video. This is Saul, and today I'm going to be playing a indie game called Ah for the Awesome. Um, it's a sequel of sorts to the um, the other uh, the indie game called uh, Ah a Reckless Disregard for Gravity, which um, was extremely fun. <laughs> and uh, basically, it's just a game where you fall in style. So. Um, uh, basically, you just go around and you uh, and you fall between buildings. Uh, you try and get as close to them as you can, and uh, while you're doing it, uh, pull off some tricks and try and score lots of points. And um, so, what we're looking at now is the uh, new and improved view for the uh, new game. And uh, I can see right here that this is the set of new levels. Whereas, if I go to way back, this is the set of old levels. And I only played a little bit of the the uh, old levels uh, just to get a, a taste of uh, what it was um, back when I played the game a long time ago. I've, I've long since lost my actual save for the game so um, I only have like a few levels unlocked right now which is kind of unfortunate. I had most of this unlocked uh, way back when. But let's just try some of the new levels and uh, I just wanted to get into it, show you guys what the game is all about and I would definitely recommend this game to anybody. And off the top of my head, I'm not really sure if you get all the old levels included if you buy the new version, new version of the game, but I will definitely look into that and post that in the comments and uh, description below, and uh, definitely also in my blog post. So um, I will uh, get back to you guys on that. But I'm gonna play a the first very first level here and just show you guys what this game is all about. So checkpoint. It, wow, this is a little, a little harder than I remember it. Um, basically all you do is you fall off the edge and then you try and get through and and get through as many of these uh, checkpoints. Whoa, man. Get through as many areas as you can. And while you're doing it, you also try and paint the uh, buildings with a uh, spray bomb. Uh, you also try and flip off protesters that you see or um, give thumbs up to your fans like these guys right here. I uh, hear some protesters coming up. Oh, and then when you get to the very bottom, activate your parachute and try and land on the circle. There you go, four star rating. Nice to do for the first level. <laughs> um, the, uh, something I got to note, by the way, is the music for this game is really good, but I had to turn it off uh, because it was so freaking loud. I tried doing a recording earlier, and then when I listened back on it, I couldn't even hear myself, it was so loud. Even the sound effects are kind of loud, but there's no way to get it below a certain level, and that kind of annoys me. But I would say that's probably the only real. I would say that's the only real concern I have about this game. But otherwise, I definitely recommend it. <laughs> uh, so now I have some kneecaps to unlock other levels. So it doesn't really have a uh, traditional level unlocking progress. You don't. You don't have a. Um, you don't have like uh, here's level one, here's level two, here's level three. Instead, you start at a starting point here, and then you choose which way to go, and just unlock. Uh, it's sort of like a pay-as-you-go model, I guess. Um, you say, oh, I want this level, and this is going to cost a thousand kneecaps, I guess, and I have sixteen hundred kneecaps, so that means I can unlock it, um, or I can go this direction or the other direction or whatever. Uh, I'll just unlock this one. And there you go, now I'm ready to play. Uh, this one, by the way, this uh, is definitely a big graphical improvement. I honestly don't think the uh, old game was built on anything too spectacular. But this one seems to take uh, full advantage of the, I want to say the Steam Engine, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, I'm probably not going to like it up either. <laughs> I'm flipping a lot of people off right now. Ooh, thread the needle. Used to be pretty good at that when I originally played this game. Alright, that was a quick level. Most of the levels are pretty fast. They, they Sometimes they'll just go by and you're like, oh man, that was, uh, that was a lot faster than I was expecting. But that's what's kind of fun about the game. You can start it up and then play a couple levels. And if that's all you want to do, then, then that's all you have to do. Um, or you can, or you can play for hours at a hours at a time if you want to. As you get a little later in the game, uh, at least from my experience with the old set of levels, um, a lot of them will take many many retries before you get anywhere. So, and not only that, but you have to do the level well. So, you're gonna find that 
that, oh, I was able to beat the level, but I only got a one star on it, so that didn't really give me any points. Uh, I need to actually get more like a three or four star so I can actually get some points to unlock the uh, next levels. And that's really just sort of the point of the game. I don't know if there's any new... Um, I don't know if there's any new moves or anything that you can do, any new powers. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's all just levels. But uh, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. That doesn't, doesn't really concern me too much. I do like their new interface for the menu. The old one was kind of um, kind of had a very uh, indie feel to it, I guess, whereas uh, not quite so much polish to it. Uh, this definitely has a lot of polish, and I kind of like that. Let's play one more level, and I'll... Uh, I don't think I was able to unlock that. Play one more level and we'll, we'll cut it off there. Mm -hmm. And I'm noticing that when I have these um, these lines going down, I, I go a lot faster than I did in the old game, so I think the uh, difficulty is supposed to be a lot more, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, most of the old, um, when you start out in the old game, uh, it is not nearly this crazy. It's usually wide open. You don't really have to worry too much about crashing into things. Right now I'm actually pretty surprised I'm not crashing into anything. And boy, nice! Touchdown. I only should show you guys what happens when I die, I guess. <laughs> I'm almost disappointed that I didn't die. So, if you hit an edge, then uh, that means that you're gonna die, or break all your, bone, break all your bones, so don't want to do that. I think I'm just too good at this game, that's why. But anyway, this has uh, been for the awesome. I uh, highly recommend it on Steam. I think it's only about $10. And um, it was on sale during the Black Friday uh, weekend sale, or autumn sale, I think is what Steam called it. It was only about 6 bucks when I picked it up. But uh, I would definitely say it's going to go on sale in the near future. I don't have any information on that or anything, but uh, typically these games will go on sale pretty frequently. So if you want to hold out and not spend ten dollars then you probably can you can probably get away with that but um i mean for ten bucks you're you're gonna be getting a lot of content so yeah definitely <laughs> um so thanks for watching guys uh, as always just uh subscribe to my feed and uh check my blog at uh fullnovazero.wordpress.com and uh you guys have all have a good one